Hey everyone, my name is Randy Lee and I'm an environmental engineer. So I've been getting quite a few messages about the difference between civil engineering and environmental engineering and which one someone should major in. Deciding which to major in could be a significant fork in the road that can ultimately change your entire career. So in this video, I'm going to break down some of the key differences, similarities, and other various factors that you should consider when deciding how to answer this question. Now to be fully transparent with you, I must reiterate that I am an environmental engineer. So that alone, I should say that I'm already having a biased opinion on this topic. I graduated with a bachelor's in chemistry and a master's in environmental engineering. So my background was not in civil engineering. I've only attended like a few civil engineering classes, but I am not an official civil engineer, depending on how you might categorize what I graduated with, you know, later explain in the video. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's begin. First off, both fields have their unique focuses and contributions toward the betterment of our planet. So you can't go wrong in either one of them. You'll just have to decide which one do you truly enjoy and can you really enjoy the classes that your university will make you take as you're like pursuing that major. First, let's talk about civil engineering. This field primarily deals with the design, construction, and maintenance of physical infrastructure, such as roads, bridges, buildings, and dams. Civil engineers often work in construction, transportation, and structural design. Think of it like this. What's the first thing you think about when I say the word engineer? It's probably a person wearing like a bright reflective vest, wearing a hard hat. Or maybe like a person wearing a business suit in an office setting with his ruler in hand over some like blueprint designs. That's the guy. That's what a civil engineer is stereotypically thought of. On the other hand, environmental engineering, which is not really well known, revolves around mitigating and solving environmental problems. This includes concerns like pollution control, waste management, uh, water treatment, focusing on like sustainability and environmental preservation. They work on different problems. One is more construction based and building based, while the other is more like natural world based, if that makes sense. Now let's talk about the key differences. Regarding the focus and scope of work, civil engineering deals more with the physical infrastructure and structural elements, while environmental engineering primarily focuses on the environmental impact and sustainability of projects. Regarding environmental impact, environmental engineers concern itself more explicitly on how the engineering projects affect the environment, whereas the civil engineer's primary goal is to successfully complete that project with really less emphasis on the environmental aspect. So let me reiterate on this point. If a project has to be complete, the true focus of the civil engineer is not really how it would affect the environment. It's not what he's truly concerned about. He has other bits and pieces to the project and he'll let someone else measure and handle the project's environmental impact. And that's where environmental engineers come in and help civil engineers. But again, the true focus for the civil engineer is not just that one aspect. Next, I want to talk about the subject area. So civil engineering encompasses a broader scope covering various subdisciplines such as transportation, geotechnical, and structural engineering. Environmental engineering, however, narrows its focus on environmental processes and sustainable practices. So in my graduate school, for example, environmental engineering was just a subcategory of civil engineering, meaning the bigger top category was civil engineering and they could branch out to specific focuses like project management or architectural designs or in my case environmental engineering. All this to say is that the bigger category is civil engineering. Next and probably the most important topic that everyone wants to hear about is employment opportunities. Civil engineering offers a wider array of opportunities especially in traditional construction and infrastructure projects. Again, what do you think about when I first say the word engineer? It's the stereotypical civil engineer. Because they have such a general yet well-established title, there probably are more employment opportunities for civil engineers. Meanwhile, environmental engineering might have a more specialized opportunity in sectors like you know water treatment, renewable energy, and environmental consultancy. All right, now that you know the key differences and similarities between the two, I think the most important thing that most people came here for is whether or not they can find a job after graduating. So when it comes to employment and pay, here are a few key factors that I want you to consider. 
The first one is global variability. Employment prospects and salaries can vary significantly based on geographical locations and the demand for specific engineering specializations in different regions. So for example, in California, we have a big problem with water, so water is gonna be the main issue that will probably have the most clients, have the most demand. If you're an environmental engineer in California wondering if I should go towards trash or maybe air or sustainable practices or you know renewable energy, we could probably just focus on water because we have a much more demand, a higher demand for water than all the other fields, at least from what I've seen. The next point is specifically civil engineering. Traditionally, civil engineering roles might offer more abundant job opportunities due to the breadth of its application in various sectors. Salaries can vary, but generally they tend to be pretty competitive, especially in like well-developed economies where infrastructure development is like the major focus. Definitely in like big cities, you're gonna have like new construction zones. Yeah, civil engineers will be in high demand there. Switching over to environmental engineering, opportunities in this field can be more niche and may vary depending on the region's focus. Salaries might be comparable, but in some cases, it could probably be slightly lower than other engineering disciplines, especially like, you know, civil engineering and definitely like software engineering. <laughs> but again, it all depends because if you're going to a location that has high demand or many issues with like water, for example, then you can expect them to pay you more because like that's what they're focused on. If you're going to a very densely populated city and you know, there's lots of construction, but not so much worry for trans transportation or water or sustainable practices, then you're not gonna be as in high demand as those focuses. Next topic is education and skill sets. So both fields require a strong foundation in math and science. The educational requirements for both are pretty similar in many aspects, but environmental engineering tends to involve more focus on environmental science and sustainable design principles. And also a little bit more towards like the laboratory, maybe biology side, because you might be dealing with like wastewater as opposed to like civil engineer who might not have to complete a whole biology series. All right, now that I've given you all the key points that I consider important and gave you some food for thought, the ultimate question is, which one should you choose? So your decision will ultimately depend on your interests, your strengths, and career aspirations. If you're passionate about making a direct impact on the environment, then environmental engineering might align more with your goals. On the other hand, if you're fascinated by design and construction and infrastructure, civil engineering might be your calling. I'm not here to decide for you, I'm just here to give you some key points that you should consider when answering this question. Some people might change their mind, some people might discover new interests while they're pursuing different fields, so you're still able, you're still flexible in a way to switch fields up to a certain point. So in the end, whether you choose civil engineering or environmental engineering, both fields are integral to the society. Each field plays a crucial role in shaping the world we live in and addressing the challenges of our future. Just consider your interests, the local job market, and your long-term career goals when making this decision. Remember that the world needs both types of engineers, and your passion and dedication to either field will undoubtedly still make a significant difference to the world. So explore, learn, and follow your interests and in what inspires you the most. The choice is yours. All right, so thanks for watching. I uh, hope this video really helped you guys make the informed decision on this topic. Good luck on your engineering journey, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.